What's up, Technobie here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using a vein miner. If you've ever played modded Minecraft, then you likely know what this plugin is already. Break a single block of an ore vein or a tree and the entire thing gets destroyed. To install the plugin, head over to the vein miner's bigger page, click download via external site, and then click veinminer.jar at the bottom of this page. Simply click keep if prompted, then head across to the file section on your server pro dashboard. Open the plugins folder, click upload, select the jar file we just downloaded, and then click upload. After the upload is complete, Simply restart the server to get the plugin working. In front of me, I have a few piles of ore and a tree. If I'm in survival mode and have the correct tools, in this case an axe and a pickaxe, I can approach these and start to break them. If I break one block of ore and wood, you'll notice that nothing interesting has happened. Why is this? Is the mod installed? Is it working properly? Well, yes. Simply hold crouch while you're breaking a block to activate the plugin. After one block is broken, you can see that only the type of block that we broke breaks, leaving the other ore intact. This is exactly the same as the well-known Vein Miner plugin already used in many mod packs, so you already know what's going on. You need the correct tool while harvesting a block to automatically harvest all of them with Vein Miner, meaning you'll also need to have durability to break multiple blocks as your tool will be damaged for the same amount as breaking them all separately. Let's go ahead and run through some commands. The plugin's main command is slash vein miner or slash vm for short. Running the command doesn't help us with much, but it provides us with some other combinations. We can use slash vm version to check the version of the plugin, slash vm reload to reload the plugin's config from the server's files. We'll use this later in the config section. For the rest of the commands, we need to know what categories are. Categories are how the plugin works. Each category is named after a tool and it contains blocks that said tool can vein mine. For example, we have axe, hoe, pickaxe, shears, and shovel. The rest of the commands are based off of these categories and while typing it, it'll give you a hint if you forget what's there. Slash VM block list followed by a category such as axe and then list lets you know of all the blocks in the category that can be vein mined. For example, we can use VM block list followed by a category and then add or remove, then a block and even a state in brackets if we'd like to add or remove blocks from a tools list that can be vein mined. For example, I'll use slash VM block list axe remove followed by Minecraft jungle log to stop us vein mining jungle logs with an axe. Let's quickly test it. There we go. I can add it back by simply changing remove to add. Then we also have slash VM tool list followed by a category and then add list or remove once again. This lets us change or view the list of tools in a category that can interact with vein miner blocks. If a tool is on this list, then it can cause any blocks within the category to be vein mined. We can use slash VM toggle followed by a category's name to completely enable or disable the entire category from the vein miner plugin. Slash VM mode followed by a mode for vein miner lets us change when the plugin works. With this, we can change whether people need to crouch, which is default, stand, or it activates always regardless. Slash VM pattern followed by vein miner expansive or vein miner thorough will change how the plugin searches for adjacent blocks to break. We can leave this as is. Locate the config in the plugins folder. This folder contains a player data folder which will contain files created and managed by the plugin. Currently, it's empty so we can ignore this folder. Categories.yml lets you customize categories much like we did in game. It's all up to user preference whether you'd like to customize it here or in game. Something that we can do in this file, which we can't do in game, is adjust how big maximum vein size can be. This can help fight lag or allow players to break more blocks at once. Just remember that after editing any of these files, we need to use slash VM reload in game for changes to take effect. Config.yml lets us change the rest of the server settings. In here, we can adjust block lists, and at the very top, we have some more interesting settings. We can toggle metrics collection next to metrics enabled. Toggle whether the plugin checks for updates, sorts the block list alphabetically, change the maximum default vein size, and even disable certain worlds. These are all self explanatory. On top of that, we have Repair Friendly Vein Miner, which stops vein mining when the tool is 1 HP instead of just breaking it. Include Edges, which toggles whether the plugin searches diagonally for other blocks. Cost, which will charge the player for each use of vein miner, assuming an economy plugin is installed. 
And finally, the hunger section. Hunger modifier makes the user hungrier more than just breaking normal blocks. Minimum food level sets a minimum hunger level that the player has to have in order to vein mine. And finally, hungry message, which lets you change what the plugin says to users who aren't saturated enough to vein mine. Just remember, after adjusting any of the settings in here, we have to run slash VM reload in game to apply changes. Anyways, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.